Hello there, back with another revisit video, finally, it's been a long time, the last revisit video I recorded was for the Pulse Pounder, it was uploaded like a year ago and then stuff happened, but now I'm back in action once more, I'll link the video in the description since the last patches on the invasion weapons from almost two years has not changed since including the Pulse Pounder, check the video out if you'd like. The next invasion weapon we are going to revisit is the Shooting Star, an energy alien submachine gun that can be acquired through the Eyes of the Brainstorm questline as an epic rarity. The same way with the Pulse Pounder, but you get it earlier. If you have enough legendary fluxes, you can use it to get it to its highest rarity. I know everyone wants a legendary copy, of course. The Shooting Star is like one of the weirdest weapons to ever be added into Save the World. In my opinion, it feels like using a weapon that overheats, like the sci-fi set weapons, yet it has perks that don't really parallel with the weapon itself, the stats don't really make sense, the magazine size stat is infinite, it can be misleading because people will think you don't have to reload and just hold until you run out of energy cells, but you overheat instead, which brings in to more questions as to why it isn't a heat capacity based stats and whatnot. So yeah, I'll still give it a try even after they did a couple more changes from their last patch. From the version 23.10 update that is like two years ago, they increased the heat capacity to fire longer bursts and increase its environmental damage, which wouldn't really matter too much unless you use it to break obstacles for some weird reason. A little more details after, they corrected the durability on the sunbeam path and replaced the incompatible perk options. Yeah, like they literally admit it's a heat-based weapon from the last couple bullet points in their patch notes, and yet they still have fire rate and reload speed as compatible perk options on the shooting star, which is very confusing. They don't change the stats at all. Could be a visual bug or so. I'm not totally sure. So yeah, still considering it as one of the weirdest weapons to be added and save the world. Hopefully they make some changes in the future, if there will be any. Before we get into the perks and loadouts, uh, I will be showcasing it solo in a 160 real quick to see how it performs nowadays. Alright, so I've kind of like farmed enough uh, wafers, so let's just test out the uh, the shooting star right here but first of all i would like to show you the two shooting stars that i'm currently using okay so the first one is for purely totally rocking out the lowdown double crit damage and damage damage the slow then snared and each hit applies a stack of slow when an enemy reaches 10 stacks they are frozen for three seconds that kind of six perk and the other one is pretty much for other loadouts that's not totally rocking out crit rate and crit damage for crit coverage and a little a little bit more focused on single target damage to miss monsters and damage dealt to enemies below 15% health. I don't even know that will work, but uh, we'll see about that. So we're going to be testing both of these copies. So for now, I'm going to be using the first shooting star on these certain enemies right here. Okay, let me just get close. Use the wafer. Okay. I am kind of hitting quite a bunch. But uh, it does seem like my magazine size is not infinite. How unfortunate, but still, I am killing a few crowds right here. Not too bad, actually. Let's go to the other one. If we do see a smasher, I will most likely try to kill it. Okay, there's another group of husks. We'll try wafer again. Some husky husks. Uh, let's try to hit shot them, of course. Okay, not bad. My aim is bad, but uh, I guess this weapon is actually- oh my! I was wondering how am I getting that much damage. <laughs> Alright, not too bad though. I was wondering why I'm losing that much health. It's the, the zombie chickens. What the hell? Okay, maybe I should try the other one just for this little crowd of husks right here. But since I couldn't even find... Oh, actually, I did see... No, that was just a sign. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. There is a taker right here. Alright, just without the wafers and see how well it does against the taker. Okay, well, I don't know if that six perk actually counted, but uh, maybe it did, maybe not. But still, 
it dealt a lot of damage against that taker. And now I'm actually going to look for a smasher. Well, I'm hoping that we could pretty much find two smashers just to test out two different shooting stars. But hey, we do have a lot more husks right here. Let's try with Wafer this time. The second copy of the shooting star and still kind of performs the same way as the first one. Still enough damage. I don't really need the double crit damage when I'm already killing them pretty easily. Well, those uh, zombie chickens are going to be hella annoying. I haven't even invested much time into this season just yet, but that's okay. I've got like two minutes on the clock and so far I haven't even found a smasher. Where are they sleeping at? At least there should be one, but I just don't really want to kill another just to kill a smasher. Alright, so it's almost like a minute and a half, so let's just uh, finish it off with the nurse here. Oh wow, okay. Well, not too bad, not too bad. I don't really think reload speed actually matters in this one because it... Uh, Cools pretty, pretty fairly, fairly decent time. So still no smashers, but uh, maybe at the second showcase when I do with like other people. But yeah. Oh, there is a taker here. I didn't notice that. All right, no way first. Let's see how well this does. Okay, I just want uh, to see if uh, the six perk of this actually works. I am still unsure if it actually triggered, but yeah, let's uh, finish it off and let's get to the perks and loadout. Alright, so unfortunately it doesn't have any synergy for other utilities as secondary weapons and such. I did a little bit of research about that, so we can just get straight into the weapon perks. The first shooting star that I used for the most showcase is the full crit damage build for the TRO wafer loadout right here. Of course, the six perk is the one that applies slow and freezes the enemy after they reach 10 stacks of slow status effect, so I had to use the damage to slow then snared perk as my preferred fifth perk. So here's an explanation on why I picked that over the 60% damage while frozen right here. Uh, when you have the six perk, the very first shot of your shooting star is already applying the slow status effect on the mob. The fifth perk is immediately in effect. With the 60% damage to frozen, however, you'll need to stack up until it reaches 10 stacks, which won't take too long, honestly, freezes them for just 3 seconds. A lot of people think 3 seconds is short, including me, so that 60% damage only applies during that span of time of the mob being frozen. Sure, it's more than 45%, but it only applies there. It's all in between having the damage being output all the time or deal a burst of damage eventually, so if you're trying to pick one of them, like the damage to frozen or damage to slowed, whichever you want. If, if you're like in a decision paralysis, I'll make this uh, simple for you. Would you rather deal damage all the time or would you keep shooting until you deal damage? It all comes down to your personal preference, of course, but I'm just pointing that out for you if you're building this one. Now, the other shooting star is almost uh, similar, um, but it's more focused on missed monsters and helps uh, vary with other loadouts that are not TRO. So I have one critical rating on it just to have a little coverage when hitting crits. It does deal decent damage against the big targets, however, I'm still not sure if the six perk works when they reach below 15% health. I might have not noticed it or whatnot. I but I still finish them off uh, regardless on those takers. So that should be the two shooting star copies that I have. You can use whichever that fits you. So let's get straight to the loadout that I was using during the solo showcase. Okay, here is the totally rocking out loadout just for boosting the shooting star damage. Of course, we have Tactical Assault Sledgehammer on Commander to give us that 225% critical damage for both assault rifles and submachine guns. Totally rocking out as our team perk gives us a good amount of crit rating and heals for a bit. Battle Beat and 
and Subway first to activate it. If you want to use Varsity Hero over Main Stage Quinn, you're gonna need to hope that you eliminate enough enemies to drop the footballs to activate the team perk. Rescue Trooper Ramirez just for the solid 17% damage boost to assault rifles and submachine guns. The last two can be completely up to you in advance, but what I have for the last two support perks, Plastic Arc and Bomb Suit. I have Cyberclops in there because I'm dealing energy damage, of course. The Shooting Star is an energy lock element weapon. I have a 20% chance to zap enemies around for 58% of the damage dealt with whatever you're dealing energy damage with. And 58% is a lot when you use a full auto or submachine weapon. And the last one is basically for having armor to survive. This loadout is already that squishy, so having to utilize that would greatly improve my survivability for a notch. I mean, without this bomb suit, I would have died to the zombie chickens for sure. <laughs> okay, so before we finish off the video, let's just jump into a match with randoms. Hopefully, I get uh, some people in there that are like people that still plays save the world for sure. Let's jump into this retrieve the data. Maybe it'll be a lot better or maybe that ride the lightning. So yeah, just to see if it works way better than in solo. Okay, I've actually got some people in here. Wow, people actually play save the world in 2024. I wonder how will it survive 2025 for sure. But anyways, we got a group. We can start uh, testing this shooting star on certain enemies. We have gunslingers here, so let me test this one out right here. Okay, there are gunslingers. They haven't shot me yet. This is because I'm just that good. And we have a... Oh, we have a taker already. Alright, let me use my wafer again. And finally, I hear a smasher. Okay, I'm, I know I'm using the second one here because <laughs> it deals more damage to the mist monster so I want to try the double crit damage on this smasher I hope I can find another smasher all right so wafer oh my all right that's cool okay we got it I did actually hit him pretty hard before <laughs> before he freezes so that's probably because of the fifth perk. All right, let's try the second shooting star without the wafer. I'm sure I'm still dealing like the same amount of damage as uh, my first one. It's just that I'm critting a little bit more often. Oh, oh yeah, they're fire element, of course. And I'm trying to stay, <laughs> stay away from that hive. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, totally an infinite magazine size. Okay, oh boy. Yeah, I've jumped into a death bomb mission, but still, I can easily dodge that. Let's look for like another smasher, hopefully, and then I'll get out of here, because I'm not really going to be playing any 160s at all. Oh, I did hear a smasher right here. I'm gonna try it. Without a wafer, with the second one. Come here. Oh boy. I think it's like 15% HP or below and he just doesn't die. I would uh, pretty much consider that uh, six perk pretty much dead. So let me clear out the rest of the group here before we end it all. Okay, okay. Survived the death bombs. Okay, here comes the rioter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already killed him that fast. I was using the double crit damage one. And here comes the nurse. Last wafer, hopefully. I'm still being hunted by enemies, but still. That was great. Alright, that should be all for the squad testing huh and that's the revisit of the shooting star almost nothing has much 
been changed ever since they last patched the invasion weapons two years ago. If you are still curious about it, I hope this video helps you out a little more to make your own build of this weapon. Or if you're as arrogant as me, I just put a copy in the collection book. Feel free to use my creator code in the item shop, it will support me a lot. Thank you so much for watching, take it easy, take care of yourself, and love yourself.